kind of fun having you along with me today on my walk. It's, like I said, it's a gorgeous day today. As long as I don't walk into any spider webs, I'm all good. I uh, had a bear encounter the other night. My daughter and I, we were riding along on the bicycle trail. Looked to our right in a tree like that close to us. And there were two little bear cubs hustling themselves right up the tree. It's like, oh my goodness, pedal faster because where's mom? You know, so we were a little nervous. I did smell her, the mom, as we went a little further. I'm like, oh boy, let's just keep pedaling and let's keep talking louder. So that's what we wanted to do. It's been a fun summer, but it's also been a crazy season for me since pretty much March and April. We had a friend living with us and her comings and goings. And then I've had a daughter who was deployed overseas. And then I had another one moving home for a bit and coming here and going there. Then they were all home one week plus another extra. So it's just been this whirlwind of people. And of course we have in the north here, we have... A guaranteed 12 weeks of summer so everything is multiplied on every weekend as far as what we do and where we go and how we function so if there's an event there's five events there's never just one so some days we may have three different things we're doing in the same day so I've been a little exhausted lately and what I find whoops, when we have a season that's so crazy busy and it's creating a mess of your routine, basically. It's, it's screwing up your routine. Um, it alters your daily patterns. You don't have the time and the space to actually... I don't want to slip in the mud here. You don't have the time and the space to work through your thoughts as much. Because we love people with us. Oops, there's a cobweb. Got that one. <laughs> He's not hanging on me, we're good. But when other people are around you, you don't have the time to slow down. To consider what you're actually doing. Take a moment. Think about your routines. You just kind of keep going whichever way you can. It flits you this way. It flits you that way. You're like, ah, I can't keep up. So... It's, it's kind of a hard season when you got people coming and going. Not that you don't love them any less, but it's very hard to stay in your routine. And a lot of people think, okay, I want to lose weight. I want to work out more. Uh, I want to do this. I want to do that. But then we get a little season. Might be a day. Might be a week. Might be a month. And so when that happens and we get thrown off our our routine and our patterns that we're trying to implement we feel like we're failing and when we feel like we're failing we're like why does it even matter why do I keep trying it's not gonna work for me you know and that's where we need to take a step back and just think let's just keep going let's take that next step um, in the trail races you'd always hit this point where you're like I just can't do this. And you're like, okay, but I can take another step and another step and another step. And that's how we have to approach life. So when we get that season that really throws us one little gnat on the eye there. So when we get that season that really throws us for a loop and we lose our bearing, we lose our way, we lose our focus. Instead of saying it didn't work, I can't do this. Take a moment to step back, find some quiet space, get out in the gorgeous woods, because you know me, this is my space, this is where we do this, <laughs> this is where it all comes back, you know, find your space that works for you, maybe for you it's a coffee shop, you know, for me it's obviously out here, and I think this is where we function the best, but we all need to take that step back, slow down, turn off the TV, the computer, the social media, and reassess what we're trying to accomplish, what our next goal is. Because if we don't know where we're going, by now you know, we won't know how to get there. And we also won't get there. 